Herbs in Action. Reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. My name is Becky Dolan, and I'm a second year graduate student at Duke University in North Carolina, and I'm interested in how plant populations are responding to climate change and how their pollinators are also responding to climate change. So there's been a lot of research suggesting that flowers are opening up sooner every single year because of the rising temperatures, but the pollinators aren't necessarily coming out at the same time anymore. And you have this period of time where there are flowers open, but no pollinators, and I'm interested in how the plant populations are able to adapt or reproduce without their pollinators out. The herb I'm gonna talk about today is Claytonia virginica, or the spring beauty. And it's particularly of interest to me because it's one of my study species in North Carolina. So it's a wildflower. It's one of the first flowers to come up in spring. So the rest of the field looks really brown and kind of gross from winter. And there are these beautiful white flowers with pink stripes on them that start popping up. And they're pretty small. And they grow as far west as Kansas and all the way along the east coast as well. In the past, the Native Americans used to eat the tubers or the corms of the plant and they would boil them or roast them and they say they taste like chestnuts and a little bit sweet. And then they also used to grind up the tubers as well to treat colds and convulsions. And it holds a lot of the starches and the nutrients from the year before. So this is a perennial plant and it grows for multiple years. So over the winter, all of the vegetation dies back down and it stores a lot of the nutrients in this corm which reproduces the following year. Not too many people eat it now. It's very difficult to find recipes for it, but it is a pretty abundant plant in North Carolina at least, and it makes a great snack. The the leaves are a little bit tangy. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.